takes dedication, self-control, and attention to detail. Coming up on South Florida today, we're going to tell you how all of those things apply to losing weight. Thank you, Bob. And by the way, Swan Lake is being performed here at the Carnival Center by the American Ballet Theater. They're very prestigious, so if you can get a ticket and you love ballet, you're in good shape. Well, I think it's fairly safe to say that very few of us around have our own personal bodyguards, which means we're the ones responsible for our own safety. And by the way, I don't mean just physical safety, I'm talking about your health. Joining me now is East Talk Plevnik, a former celebrity bodyguard and the author of The Bodyguard Diet. Good morning. Hello to you. Who to thunk at bodyguard? Myself. No, you look like you look. You're a very handsome man, but I, I got to tell you, when I think a bodyguard, I think big and beefy, like a wall. Like, don't break through the wall of bodyguard. <laughs> Pretty much, a lot of people think <laughs> about that. Huh? But you look great. So, celebrities, huh? Celebrities, movie stars, important people, VIP people. Like who? A celebrities, multi-billion-dollar companies. Can't tell, Kings, can you? Kings, popes. Things. Kings and popes? Here we go. Wow. Princes. Wow. You packing heat? Packing heat? Do you have a gun? Uh, not with me. Not with you? Okay, well, that's good. I can breathe easier now. So tell <laughs> us, please talk. The diet. What are the basic tenets of your diet? The basic tenet is uh, I wrote a book. I put all the things together from my lifetime experience. You know, I was blessed. I was working with the best from the special forces, bodyguard, uh, working with special kids, Olympics. Uh, modeling, doing even professional football. Uh, so I combine all the things together and come with a perfect diet that can work pretty much for everybody. Okay, so um, let's say we're going to deal with a typical gal who might watch our show. She may be like me, young, stunning, beautiful, healthy, or she may be middle weight, the middle age, could use a f lose a few pounds. Would this be a good one to uh, go on for those people? Yes, it will be because uh, my book is not like a really huge book. They need to take a week or two weeks to read it. Yeah. It's a really quick guide. Right. So whatever you read, you can take really fast and you can learn really fast. All right, like what? Uh, for example, you got so many books out there that are 300 pages long. The only benefit from that kind of book you can have to start lifting that book. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'll give you a quick example. You buy a TV, Sony TV or what kind of TV, you got a thick manual and a really skinny one. So you would take the skinny one because you want to learn things right away. Okay. okay. Now, what's so, in the skinny book to make a skinny, I guess is what I'm getting at. Uh, they put you to the right direction right away. Uh, I, like, I, don't wanna, I don't like to talk to, about a diet because it's really not a diet. You can eat everything what you want. Don't I'm on starve that diet. yourself. <laughs> Here you go. But you need to start eating four or five times a day. Don't eat early in the morning a lot and then all day nothing. Then eat a lot in nighttime. Just like so a don't constant work. graze. Keep eating. Do not be hungry. Once you feel that you, you get hungry, you're ready too late. Well, you know, that's what my new trainer says. She, she says your body's like a furnace. And if you don't keep coal in the furnace, there's nothing, the, the body has nothing to, to use. Correct. So it always has to metabolize, and that's what burns calories. But exactly. it's what you put in that furnace, correct? Correct. Like, what's your normal diet? What'd you have for breakfast today? Oh, a big sandwich. I love that. Really? A lot of bread. A lot of butter on, cheese, turkey, things like that. Wow. You see, a lot of people think so, wow, you cannot eat the carbs. Actually, a right amount of carbs ensure that all the protein and our mm -hmm. nutrition will go for the purpose of growing up, develop human cells, and for normal brain function. Right. So you cut the carbs away, that's not good for you. This, that's your fuel during the daytime. Right. So that's why people are getting fatter year by year because they follow too many different diets. But you know what's different between you and most people is you're hungry in the morning because you haven't eaten late at night, correct? Actually, I never eat three hours before I go in bed. Even oh. if I go in the bed three o'clock in the morning, I'll be eating at midnight. Okay. So that's the problem. People starve themselves. Actually, they don't lose the fat. They lose the muscle. And right. the next day they eat, they just build that fat again. Right. There so you go. So when you eat, you lose the fat and you gain muscle. Okay. So you're, you're proposing, um, is it low fat, low low carbs, and low calories? Actually, not really. You can, you can say what you say have a, the second part of the day stick with what you told me Got but it. the first part of the day just eat wherever you want from right. pizza pasta everything in right proportion don't overdo it eat 400 calories per meal if your body need that but do not skip the meal every time you skip the meal you over hunger and you overdo it now how old a man are you 34 you're 34 now do you think you're going to keep this physique when you're 54 
Yes, because of my discipline and all my lifetime experience, you don't know nothing better, just you do it, you know. There you're you not go. hungry, you're just eating all the time. All right, well, me too. <laughs> um, but at any rate, uh, you look great. Thank and you. I hope a lot of people follow your advice because uh, you look like you're really in shape and um, could really protect against yeah. bad guys. You know, protect yourself, be your own bodyguard. Okay, I will. Again, the book is called The Bodyguard Diet. It's available wherever books are sold. Oh, look at you with the glasses on. Is that you? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's me. You know, you look very Jake Gyllenhaal in that picture, I must say. For more information, <laughs> log on to our website at NBC6.net. Once you're there, click on South Florida Today, and we will connect you. East Zoc East Stock. East Stock. <laughs>